Hello, and welcome to the Raven Batch Command System for Logic Pro X Basic Training. We'll be taking you through how to locate, use, and program some of our most popular batch commands included by default in your Raven software. Let's begin. From your desktop, navigate to the Apple drop down menu and click System Preferences. Then click Show All. If you're using OS X 10.9 or higher, click Security and Privacy. Within the Privacy tab, select the Accessibility option on the sidebar and drag the following applications to the provided area from your Applications folder, Automator, Logic Pro X, the Raven application, and Terminal. Note, Terminal is located in the Utilities folder within the Applications folder. If using OS X 10.7 or 10.8, click Show All and select Accessibility from the main System Preferences window. Then, confirm that the Enable Assistive Devices option is checked. On Layout 1, we've included batch commands to add different types of tracks here, and then some preset naming batch commands here. Let's create four new audio tracks and name them Lead Vocals 1 through 4. I'll just hit my New Audio Track Batch Command four times, use the cursor up batch commands here to move to the first track I just created. Now I'll hit the preset Name Lead Vocals Times 4 batch command, and it's done. On Layout 2, you'll find a few fader focusing batch commands when using the Logic Mixer. Toggle Audio Tracks, Instrument Tracks, Aux Tracks, and the Selected Track. These are toggle batch commands, so when showing only instrument tracks as an example, I hit the Toggle Instrument Tracks batch command, and when finished, hit the Toggle Instrument Tracks batch command again to return to the full session view. Also on Layout 2, you can locate the Show Hide Group Batch commands when working in the Logic Arrange window. Here's how we can quickly set up our session to use these batch commands. First, I'll take all the tracks in my session and, while holding Shift, select the first and then the last track and then assign them to Group 1. Now I can always show and hide my entire session with just one button. Now let's make a few groups. Holding Shift to set multiple groups, I'll first assign my drum tracks to Group 2 while keeping their assignment to Group 1. Then my guitar tracks to group 3 and 1, and lastly my vocal tracks to group 4 and 1. Now watch how easy it is to recall my groups. First I'll hit Show Hide Group 1 so my entire session is empty. Then I'll click Show Hide Group 2. Notice it's now only showing my drum tracks. I'll again hit Show Hide Group 2 to go back to all tracks hidden and now click Show Hide Group 4, and now it's just my vocal tracks. You can set these to any groups you want. On Layout 4, if I have multiple plugins open from multiple tracks and I want to copy the settings from one to the others, I can accomplish this with a batch command. Using the Logic EQs, I'll open in this example a total of six EQs on my drum tracks that I would like to remain consistent amongst the group. Now I'm going to make an adjustment to one that I would like to paste across the others. With the plugins open and the adjusted plugin selected, I'll hit Copy Plugin Times 5. This copies the selected plugin settings and then pastes the settings across the additional five open plugins. In this example, we use the Copy Plugin Times 5, however, the Copy Plugin Times 1 is available for a quick copy and paste for settings between two plugins. In this example, on Layout 1, I have a vocal comp that I've gone through and completed, but I want to flatten the takes I've selected to my main take and then bounce the audio in place. Using the Flatten Take Batch command, it will instantly flatten the comp to the main take. Then I'll hit Bounce Tracks in Place, and it's done. On Layout 4, I can copy and paste a selected channel strip and its plugins across multiple tracks in either a right or left direction. To perform these batch commands, show the Raven internal mixer and then select the track with plugins you wish to paste across channels in a direction. Let's try pasting the channel strip right times 1. I select my track and hit Paste Channel Strip Right times 1. Raven copies the selected channel strip, moves right, and pastes the copied channel strip to that track.
I can easily adjust how many channel strips the batch command pastes by pushing and holding the batch command and changing the number of repetitions here, although it's easy to continue clicking to paste more as well. On Layout 4, we've included some great batch commands for using Melodyne for pitch correction. First, let's select the lead vocal track to add the Melodyne plugin. Now, hit the User Click Add Melodyne batch command, then quickly click the desired insert within 3 seconds after hitting the batch command. This will add the Melodyne plugin to the selected track and open the plugin for you. Now, we can hit the Transfer Audio to Melodyne batch command to begin transferring the audio. This will click Transfer and start playback of the audio from your last location on the timeline. Once some audio is transferred, I can select sections of audio to nudge up, down, left, and right variations of sense with the Melodyne tools for pitch correction, modulation, and more. Then, once you like your changes, you can bounce the changes in place by clicking the Bounce Audio Selection in Place batch command. It's now really easy to quickly clip gain selected audio up and down with batch commands to different variables. On Layout 2, let's select this piece of audio here and break it using our Marquee tool. Now I'll use the Clip Gain plus 5 dB batch command or the Clip Gain minus 5 dB batch command. Although seemingly simple, what this batch command does is open the event window, then open up the Clip Gain window, then it will move your selection on the Clip Gain window to the dB option, and in this example, add 5 and then confirm it to the selected clip and hide the open windows. You can easily program these batch commands to your own gain variables, as well as click the batch commands multiple times to move by 1 or 5 dB by default to an ultimate clip gain result. On Layout 4, we've included the EXS24 key mapping batch commands that will adjust selected notes up or down the scale, either by individual notes or by octave. This can be very useful to help your map samples in ESX24 to create your own instruments. To perform this, let's take this EXS track and open the EXS plugin and hit Edit on the top right of the plugin. With our key mapping window open, select a group of tracks. Now let's use the key range up one note and key range down one note. Watch the key mappings of the selected tracks move up and down the scale by single notes. You can also use the key range up and down by octave batch commands the same way. Using the batch commands, I can now add two-bar preset drum and instrument MIDI progressions without the requirement of programming or performing. Let's take this drum track and add a rock groove. We've included a few variations on Layout 4, however please note that we have included many more instant MIDI batch commands located on the advanced preset default layout. I'll select the drum track and location, toggle to display the piano roll window by hitting Toggle Piano Roll. Then I'll toggle on my step input keyboard by clicking the Toggle Step Input Keyboard Batch Command, followed by hitting the Toggle Chord Mode Batch Command to activate the chord mode for the Step Input Keyboard. Now I'll hit Rock Groove, and Batch Commander will instantly add a rock groove with MIDI notes to your selected drum track. Now let's try 4 on the floor. Another method of instant MIDI is, for example, a piano MIDI instrument track. Let's again, with the same window showing and chord mode selected, try adding a major 1-4-5-4 MIDI chord progression to this track. Now let's follow that with a major 1-5-6-4 chord progression. Note, these batch commands require the step input keyboard to be toggled in between changing instruments and track selections. Lastly, I finished working on this Logic session and want to upload it to Gobbler, a cloud-based backup and collaboration software. If you don't have Gobbler 1.0, you can download it for free from gobbler.com. We've also included many alternate cloud-based upload batch commands in the quick list. Once downloaded, you'll need to be logged in and have opened the application for the first time before using this batch command. Then, with one button, Batch Commander will copy the Logic Session name, open the Gobbler application, and click Send Files. Then, the batch command will automatically add an attachment and paste the session name into the search bar for selection. All that's left is to manually tell Gobbler who you want to send the session to, and you're done. We've shown you a set of preset batch commands that come with your software. 
but what if you want to make your own? Well, it's easy, and we've done most of the work for you. Simply push and hold the batch command, and then you can either enter your own series of key commands to customize your own script, or you can choose from over 100 preset custom mouse click and menu item scripts and combine them to create a powerful, custom batch command. Let's program something called Fly BG Chorus Vocals. Right click a batch command, and now let's enter our script. Hit the key command button and enter the following. First is Command C. Then on the numeric keypad, hit 5 to reference memory location number 5. And then Command V. Again on the numeric keypad, hit 8 to reference my memory location number 8. And then again, Command V. Now, programming all of these commands together may seem tedious, but with the batch command system, all of the commands become one button for you. So let's put it into action. I'll select my background chorus vocals from the first section here, and now using our newly customized batch command, my vocals automatically copy and paste to 5th and 8th memory locations. I can use this specific custom batch command for harmony vocals, guitar parts, and anything else that needs to be duplicated several times throughout the song to specific markers. I recommend making multiple fly custom batch commands for various structures you may typically use, such as chorus markers always being certain memory location numbers. I can also customize naming batch commands for any text I'd like. Simply push and hold the batch command, and if the button already has content inside, hit clear all. Then we'll enter the following script. Hit key command and on the keyboard hit shift return. Then hit key command and type the name. If the name is two words, just add another key command for space and another key command for the next word like this. Electronic drums. Then hit key command and return. Then hit key command and cursor down. Repeat this sequence with any names you'd like. Next, name the batch command, choose a color, and click save. This button will save the sequence you've created to your user tab located here in the quick list to use at a later time or in another layout. Click confirm to lock in the batch command. Then we'll hit save layout and overwrite the current layout, which is the number highlighted green on the save layout panel, and hit save Raven session to name and locate your custom Raven file and hit save. Now, select the top track of the track you'd like to name and hit your new batch command. We covered programming your own batch commands using key commands. However, another powerful way to customize your own batch commands is using the quick list. In this example, let's program a batch command that creates, names, and colors new audio tracks. Push and hold a batch command and hit quick list. In the search bar, search for new audio track. Once located, select it from the list and hit the select button at the bottom. Now, next to the quick list item you added, let's change the repeat variable to four to create four new audio tracks. Now hit key command and hit cursor up on the keyboard. Then let's repeat this three times to move our selection to the top of our four new audio tracks. Now hit quick list again and in the search bar type name lead vocals and select the name lead vocals times four and again hit select from the bottom. Now hit key command and hit shift cursor up on the keyboard. Then let's repeat this three times to select our four new audio tracks. Lastly, let's hit quick list and search pink and choose select track pink. I'll add a bit of the delay after the shift cursor up key command to give logic time to select the tracks. Now let's name the batch command four new pink vocals and choose the color pink. Confirm the batch command and now let's use it. The batch command creates four new audio tracks, names them lead vocals one through four, and then makes them all pink. We've created tons of great preset batch commands across your layouts, and I've also shown you how to customize your own batch commands using key commands and quick list items. Another really powerful feature to the batch command system is the ability to record your own custom mouse clicks. Push and hold the batch command to open the batch command system programming menu. Now we'll hit the record button and the batch command system will record your mouse clicks and key commands in the sequence you perform them. Once completed, hit the record button again and name your new batch command. This will save to your user recordings tab for later use as well. Now I'll just add my new recording into my batch command line, give the button a name and a color, and hit confirm. Now watch my new custom recorded batch command perform a key command and mouse click.
we recommend reviewing our user manual and advanced batch command tutorial videos, both accessible within the Raven settings as well as visiting our Slate Media Technology Forum and joining the community of users, again accessible in your Raven settings. The forum is great for asking how-to questions, requesting or sharing custom batch commands, and more. Lastly, if you ever have any questions when using the application, never hesitate to contact our customer support department by visiting slatesupport.com and opening a ticket. Our customer support representatives are available to assist you Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time.